Norman and Phil have sorted that alien out on the rear wheel and checked it fits into the fuselage correctly. Have to try last, thing, last thing to see if it fits. Yeah. <laughs> we need to make sure this is fit before we start checking the apart. Yeah, we're going to try it today, are we? Yeah, yeah. These are the inner faces of the port and starboard tailplane. Brackets at each corner are butted together when fitted into the fuselage. The, the tailplane is bolted to the frame of the fuselage by four bolts, about one inch diameter. Where the bolts are located, there are four threaded holes inside the frame which take four threaded bushes with a hole in the centre to take the securing bolts. The two threaded bushes, forward of the tail plane, fit flush with the fuselage former face. The two bushes after the tail plane can be screwed proud of the formers, so to enable it to fit up to the tail plane when installed. They act as adjustable space washers. Still a bit tight. Still a bit tight, is it? Yeah, it's a bit tight. Just trying to persuade it to wear. Uh... So it's time to see if Just Jane's tailplane fits into the Canadian built rear fuselage KB976 from Doncaster. Thank you, Mr. Rowe. Thank 
Why is that end going high? That end's already too high. Uh, the next time I'll have it. Yeah. So Yeah, there is a gap on the left side. Yeah. You just try and slide it a tiny bit. Right here. Hold on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. 
Yeah, you clear now? We're going at that. Nice slow, slow, at that. Slowly. Scraping the skin off now. That's about there, isn't it? Yeah, not far off. Right, it's, it's too far in. Let's go back to the bed. Hey? Hold it that. Where you got that from? I'm looking at the spot back here. This ball will just disappear now. Yeah, it probably needs to uh, retrieve the bit. Yeah, that one to go forward. You might want to try and get this one in first, Dave. It's nearly, it's nearly that. Alright. Just want to go up a little bit. This bolt when tight will pull the tailplane up to the face of the former. This will leave a gap between the tailplane and the rear former. This is where the adjustment of the bushes comes in. They will screw the bushes to close the gap before securing the nuts and bolts. Securing all nuts and bolts in the formers will be done when the other half of the tailplane is bolted together. No damage is out, it hasn't been. It's not been done here. No, no. It's, um, it's probably when the tail, the tail wheel's been put in in the past, we think. Yeah. And it's just, it's just caught. Yeah. The tail, the bracket for the, the boss of the tail, mm. it goes into the... <coughs> it locates at the top there. Oh, it goes up as far as that, does it? Yeah. Oh. Um, can I just get the other bolts out? Yeah. Right. Yeah. And then it... Um, then the, the, the O-Leo just locates inside the yeah. O-Leo. Oh. Yeah, it's quite high, isn't it? It is high. And then you just got the pin down the bottom, obviously. Yeah. The pin takes the weight and that is just a guide, more or less. Is Essentially, it? yeah, yeah. yeah. But ours has got quite a bit of wear on it, on the tail planes and on the on the uh, on the socket. So we're, we're, there is a, a, a repair. Yeah. That Bob's found where you, you can bush the tail, the, you can bush the uh, the bracket. So yeah. You're gonna have to do that. So these all get rebuilt before it flies anywhere. Else. Yeah. Yeah. The Australian Elio. John Clark, who lives in Australia, wants to know which museum in Australia they came from. We got it from a private collector. Oh, did you? It was in his garage. Oh. And yeah, it could potentially from a Lincoln, because it's the same yeah. Elio. Yeah. And they had Lincoln's out in Australia. But it, um, 
it was put up on Facebook Marketplace. Oh. And so I, I contacted the chap and he said, well, it's not mine, it's my next door neighbours <laughs> who, who was unfortunately suffering from dementia yeah. um, and are trying to clear yeah. some of his things. Um, so we, I contacted him and said, look, this is what it would be for. This is how much we'd offer you. Um, and it turns out that the chap who owned it had been here for a taxi ride on the Lank. Oh. <laughs> Equally, we wouldn't, we wouldn't ask for it for your charge. So no. we, we, made a, we made an offer and it was accepted and we paid the shipping to bring it and over. Do you know which part of Australia it came from? What was that? Oh, crikey, I don't know. Yeah. I can find out, but yeah. Let's talk about these wheels. I mean, they're a massive. Good. Keith and John carry on riveting the top skin of NX664, the French wing. I've still got a few wonders to do. Good. Hi, next week I hope to get uploaded video 184, the second part of Andrew's talk and the following Saturday 185 video will be the continuation of fitting the tailplane into the Lancaster. Fingers crossed that is. Cheers for now and thanks for watching.